let's try to compare the results of pressure. If we were to use the van der Waal equation compared to the ideal gas law for 2 moles or 2.8 moles of this ammonia gas and at these certain uh, states. So let's go ahead and try to rearrange this particular equation for P because we want to solve for P. We'll just basically have to divide this by that. So we get something like P plus A N over V squared equals NRT divided by V minus NB. Then we're just going to subtract this A term. And now we have the answer for P over here. So at this point, let's just start plugging in what we know. So we're going to go... And on the top here is going to be 2.80 ohmol. Then we have the R. Now we want the R that's specifically for ATM because we're going to figure out the ATM pressure. So we're going to use R being 8.206 e to the negative 2. And this you have liters, ATM, and then we'll put mole and a K at the bottom here. And then we're going to finish that with the temperature was 493 degrees Kelvin. The cool thing is the moles here will cancel and the K, oops, and the Ks will cancel, but we have that. But now let's go and finish this with the bottom side. So we're gonna put V minus NB. We don't even have any more units there. So we're just gonna start with the volume. That's gonna be 4.50 liters minus the N, which is going to be again 2.8 mole and then here we have a b well b is this now this was actually just something we found in a table so it's not something we can really calculate it's just a basically a given value so 0 0.0371 um and the liters and moles are going to be in there so i'll just kind of put that here and then i guess we'll have that over here we immediately see that if these two things are multiplied together to themselves in isolation, these moles are going to cancel out. So we actually have liters, which gives us liters minus liters. And so that's kind of working out pretty well over here. Uh, and then what's cool is that if this was an entire term, we would also see that liters are going to be present in everything in the denominator and also that spot there in the numerator. So, uh, yeah, the liters are going to cancel out. We're going to just be left with ATMs. And so this is all just one big number. And then there's an the ATM right there. We'll figure that out in just a second. But let's go on to this A over here. And let's go ahead and do that. So the A is just going to be 4.170 ATM liters squared, mole squared. And we're going to multiply that by N over V. But I'm going to put the squared inside there. So we would actually have 2.80 mole squared here. And then there's going to be the volume squared, which is 4.50 liters squared. So we can see how the mole squared are going to cancel, the liters squared are going to cancel. And again, we're just left with ATM right here. So it's going to uh, work out. So we can subtract this from that um, and get an answer. So let's just plug this into the calculator and see what happens. We're going to get a 2.80. And then on the top, we're going to have 8.206, negative 2. And there's still a 4 point, I'm sorry, 4.93. And then on the bottom side, there is 4.5 minus 2.8 times 0 0.0371. And then we could just basically subtract this stuff over here, 4.17. And we can multiply that by 2.8 divided by, and it's actually squared here, divided by the 4.5 squared because yeah the squared should also go to the number and not just the unit <laughs> okay good stuff so now we can just get the answer here is going to be 24.2 we have to round that to three um to three significant figures so that's going to be answer using the van der Waals equation if we were to try to solve this for the ideal gas law, we would just divide this by the V. And we plug that in the calculator, see what goes down. We got 2.8. And then on the bottom, we have 4.5 for the volume. On the top, we're going to use the R from before, 6 minus 2. 
and the temperature is still 493. So we basically get 25.2 for the other version. 25.2 ATM. So now we have the comparison between these two values. And uh, as you can see, this one's probably a little bit more accurate. 